purpose of this video is simply to give you some help on side loading Radix onto a Ledger Nano S. The instructions are absolutely superb. You can follow them without watching this video. But if you like to see what's happening, this video will give you some reassurance. Hope you get something out of it. Hi, so in this video we are going to set up a Ledger Nano S so it will accept and store Radix. If we look at the Nano S, the Nano S has some built-in apps to store different coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Chain, Cardano, etc. It doesn't have Radix, it will do in the future, so right now we have to add it manually and that is called side loading. So we're going to side load Radix onto a Ledger Nano S. The first thing you have to check is for your Ledger Nano S that you have firmware 2.0.0 and if you don't have that, there will be a button here set it up so you do have that okay let's get started navigate to this page i'll put a link on the page once you're on this page you should read this so you're familiar with what you're going to do and i am going to jump down here and it says here install and set up the ledger live desktop app you should have done that already initialize your ledger nano s you'll get a 24 word seed phrase you'll have a passcode etc and then here it says update the latest ledger firmware which is 2.0.0 which we've already mentioned and we will want to install a radix desktop wallet which you should already have done and now we are going to for windows users we are going to follow the side loading instructions so all right so important it talks about having the prerequisites we've just gone over them very quickly and now we're going to install the radix ledger app have your device plugged in and quit the Ledger Live desktop application because it will interfere with us installing this on the Ledger Nano S. I've just done that. Start by clicking here to download a zipped folder containing the Radix Ledger app. And then done. This is for security minded people if you're into that. Then it says here unzip the downloaded zip file directly into your downloads directory. So let's and then when you're in downloads, right click and 7-zip, we're going to extract a Radix Ledger app 1.0.0, which it has now done. So we have this, so we are good to go. And it says here, important, check that you have this with the app Radix directory inside. So let's have a look. We have app Radix inside, so let's crack on with it. Now we need to install a developer tool called Python. Follow this link and run the downloaded installer. Okie doke, let's do that. And just for peace of mind, we should have this. We have it. Make sure you check the box, add Python 3.9 to path. Let's click on that and then click install now. And it tells us the setup was successful. So we can close this. Now open the Windows command prompt application by typing CMD in the Windows 10 taskbar. So down here, CMD, command prompt. We are going to copy this. So when I hover over this, I get the copy sign and let's copy it. Go back to my command line and let's paste it. Make sure we have the same. Pip3 install ledger blue and press enter. And it's downloading, so we wait. All right, so we're now done. It says we're using 21.1.3, but 21.2.2 is available. I'm not going to change it because this is what the Radix guys are saying to do. Hover on this, copy it, back to our command line, click in here, control V, paste it. All right, let's wrap this up. We're at the point we're going to install the Radix app on the ledger. So I need this command because I've cleared my screen just to get everything fresh so you can see this. 
paste it and now we are good to go you need to connect your ledger to your computer and you need to unlock it with your pin but that's all don't open any other app so connect it unlock it with your pin and then do the following we're going to take this command here copy it paste it and click on your ledger you should get this message deny unsafe manager which is what we expect so let's just scroll down here and have a look at this it says deny unsafe manager don't panic about it. It's a ledger being suitably cautious because we're sideloading an app. And it says here you'll need to use your device's right button to advance through some screens before you get to a screen where you can use both buttons to confirm that you want to allow the unsafe manager. So we've got the public key and nine screens coming up. One, two, three, four. And we allow the unsafe manager so two fingers this time now we've got the broken certificate chain message and again it says here you may see a warning about a broken certificate chain you can safely ignore this and on the ledger it should say loading please wait so it says that and now we are past that and we're at the install app radix so here again, you will use the device's right button to advance through some screens before you get to a screen where you can use both buttons to confirm like this. So let's advance through this with the right button. And now we have the code identifier buttons, There's five of them. And then after that, we should perform the installation. So assuming you've done everything okay here, you're gonna perform the installation. If you've made a mistake or you think you made a mistake and you're not certain, you can go to cancel installation, cancel it and start again. And in our case, let's perform the installation. Enter the pin, which I'm not going to do. And what we should now have, we've got a Bitcoin app, an Ethereum app, and a Radix app. Now, at this point, when you try to use the Radix app, you'll get this message. This app is not genuine. That's because we sideloaded it. We didn't load it from the ledger live, but it's actually fine because we trust Radix. And let's open the application. Radix is now ready. For use and let's at this point now let's just connect it to a wallet so I have here a Radix wallet enter the password open the wallet and it likes that and now let's go to in here and I've already connected a hardware wallet let's get rid of that one delete it and let's add a hardware wallet deriving it from the account and here's the address in the ledger which matches the address in the radix wallet four parts now i'm going to approve it okay i'm done radix is ready and my hardware wallet is now connected to this account Okay, okay, hope that made sense. Can be a bit daunting, but hopefully it will help you. If any questions, email me, ian at radixexchange.com. Thanks. Bye now.